hier haben wir ein Bodybuilding absoluter Profi, Kevin Roney. Äh, Kevin, wie geht's dir? Kevin, how are you doing? Good, great. Wie, ge wie gefällt es dir auf der FIBO und in Deutschland? Are you enjoying your time here at FIBO and in Germany? Yeah, I uh, I always love coming to Germany. You know, it's nice. Uh, I've been coming here for about 15 years, so it's great. Wow, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, wann war sein erster Wettkampf? Er ist ja schon jetzt wirklich schon viele, viele Jahre dabei. So it's been a while since your first competition. When was that exactly? Which year? When was my first show? Ever? Ever. Uh, so 1992. 1992. Yeah, a long time ago. Long time, very long time. Yeah. <laughs> um, wie oft war er schon bei Mr. Olympia war dabei und was waren seine besten Platzierungen bei der Mr. Olympia? So how many times did you compete at Mr. O and what was your best? Uh, I competed 13, 13 times at the Mr. Olympia. My best is getting second for four times. Four time runner up, you know. At the Olympia, yeah. Okay. So. Dann sein Comeback vor, äh, letztes Jahr. Ähm, wie, wie war seine Vorbereitung? Wie hat er sich gefühlt? War er glücklich mit der Platzierung? Mit Sicherheit nicht. So einfach dazu mal was sagen. So last year you did your comeback, Mr. O. Uh, how did you feel about your preparation? How did you feel about your shape? Were you, were you happy with your placement? Well, I mean, considering everything, the time and everything, I was 100% happy with everything, the way that everything went. Um, you know, as an athlete, um, you know, you focus on being the best that you possibly can. And for the time that it took me to prepare and everything that I had to face, yeah, it was, it was very challenging. But it was also um, self-gratifying too. I enjoyed the show very, very well, very much. And um, I, I look forward to doing it again, you know, this year and coming back with a better package. Was hat er wieder vor jetzt in seine Zukunft? Was ist wieder noch mal eingreifen? Will er diesmal noch mal starten? Was hat er vor? Wie sind seine Zukunftspläne? So you said you're going to start this year, Mr. O, as well. Yes. Um, so what's your future plans other than that? How do you, how did your preparation this year compared to last year go? Did you change anything? Um, well, what happened? I mean, it's like last year. I had injuries that I was dealing with. You know, I had. Uh, Quadricep tendonitis. I had um, four surgeries on my knees, uh, so that was very, very challenging to go into the gym. I mean, last year I wasn't able to squat. Now I'm able to squat. I'm able to train 100%. So I think um, I'll be back like my old self again. You know, now that I can train. I mean, it's it's almost like you know, last year was like. Uh, telling you know Michael Jordan to go into the NBA championships with one arm you know and uh, so you know my injuries hindered me from training this time I'll be a hundred percent I've already uh, put on maybe uh, 15 kilos since uh, since last year so everything right now is uh, is on target put the most focus on training your legs this year yeah yeah of course you know uh, because that was a part that was injured for me so I had to really focus and um, concentrate on getting the muscle developed back you know what was your motivation to do the comeback last year uh, my fans you know my fans uh, the fans really motivated me just all the comments that uh, that the fans would send and saying that they really believed in me and and then looking at the, the competition and, and everything I mean the fans just they just wouldn't stop you know after seven years they just kept sending me messages so I just decided to do it for the fans and um, when I decided to do it I just got so much support from the fans you know and at that point they didn't care if I win or if I lose it was just about having the courage and having the balls to, uh, to to go and do it, you know, and finish. And when you're gonna say something, to commit to it 100%, you know, so that was my motivation. So stepping on that stage last year, did you feel any different to the ones, that it, to the shows that you did before? Was it like a very special moment for you? Um, actually, it was probably one of the most, uh, 
probably the most memorable Miss Olympia. That show last year, and then also my first Miss Olympia. You know, the difference is, you know, I've been on stage 100% and I've won 25 pro shows before. This time, it's the first time in my whole career I placed dead last, you know. And I, I, think, I think it was more of a powerful message. Uh, to my fans, you know, they know the reason why, but it's like, never come up with excuses. True champions continue to move forward. You show the strength in the training, and you be rewarded for that, and it doesn't matter where you place. It's just all about continuing to move forward, and never quit, and never give up on yourself. So, I think the 2016 Miss Olympia, it just gave me the stage to, to show the inside strength of even if you're not a hundred percent it doesn't matter as long as you believe and continue to move forward you know you're still gonna set an example for so many people and you know that's what I did so that Olympia for me was probably the best Olympia because it gave people hope and encouragement older people you know people who had injuries just to get up and try to make yourself better, you know? So, I dedicate that to my fans, you know? Without them, I would have never done it. Thank you very much for the interview. You're welcome. I always love having you here. Thank you, thank you. Can we take a picture? Yes, of course. <laughs>